I was told that I'm careless so many times. So, how careless you are? Wait, 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 wait. Don't yet click on any other suggested videos. I made this video especially for you, so I hope you care. I know what you're thinking. It's great to be careless. I'm simply cool because I don't take anything seriously. I have finally found the secret of life. You like the idea that your nonchalance might inspire people to say, Wow, look at him. He looks like he drank the subtle art of not giving a f with breakfast this morning. Well, it's ridiculous to see many people considering indifference and carelessness to be a cool thing. The, it makes them attractive somehow. It makes them seem like some sort of life experts and inspirations at peace with life. You beg your friend. Please, stop smoking. It is not good for you. It's destroying your health. And he responds to you with, No, who cares? We live only once. And as long as he enjoys the present moment, he shouldn't care about the future. Those who have this mentality live for the present moment as if there is no tomorrow. You can't be a geek if you want to be great. I hope it's the right thing to be said here. They seek to have the wonderful image of the indifferent person who lives in the moment and doesn't care about anything or anyone. They like this definition more than educated, considerate, or stoical serious people. They consider carelessness to be great because it indicates that you don't think twice and don't take things too seriously. You're willing to give up your life and education to smoke and bar you all night without worrying about the consequences so you're cool but you're not you know that you're just dummy i'm not even sorry because i have been dumb all my life and i still am i still don't care about most of the things i should care about and i still struggle with myself between tomorrow the present moment the important things, the fun and the excitement, the boring and the most important things. It is great to be careless, to not give a f That may be true, but ask yourself first, what are you being careless about? Is it about your health, your money, your relationships, your personal stuff, or your friend's feelings? Are you indifferent to any of these because you're focusing on something more important to you, your future for example, because that would be really cool then, and the story would be way different. You must know why you are indifferent and careless, and why you are focusing most of your attention to, or at least, why you have suddenly became indifferent toward everything. Are you suffering from a past experience repeating itself? suffering with a wound that hasn't yet healed we all have our different circumstances in life we we have many accumulations of experiences that happened in the past after which we say nervously that we will no longer care about anything and let everything go to hell but after we have become this type of indifferent people we are still not happy and we aren't at peace of mind because what is included in phrases like I won't care anymore and it is my fault because I care too much. It is to relieve ourselves of pressure, not to get too angry, pull our hair and shout and cry with every situation that encounter us. You may not have chosen to not care but you have become so against your will because you are just hurt. I can't understand that. Or you may simply don't care because you are just immature. You don't have a real vision. You have wild dreams like jumping into the hands of a frog screaming your name, jumping off a huge tower, saying, I don't give a f I don't care about anything anymore. However, you stop showing any respect to your parents because, as you know, who cares? And you stop caring about your studies and grades because, who cares? And you stop developing your skills in anything, even in choosing your right wars with the elderly people, because who cares? You, 
You are the one who should care. You will not remain a teenager and young forever. You will discover at some point that all these moments of indifference and carelessness have never worked in your favor. That your parents hate you, your brothers are mad at you, and that you even hate yourself. Why? Because you never cared. It is easy for a person to blame everyone around him for his indifference because the circumstances that happened to him were like this and that and because the people he met were shitty and toxic and because his expectations weren't met and his effort didn't bear fruit. But it is difficult for a person to blame himself and take responsibility and say that I'm the reason for everything that happened because I just didn't care enough about what I should have cared about and for whom I should have cared. We repeat they don't care about me. They don't even care if I exist or not. Why don't you think you didn't consider them in the first place and didn't care about their existence? You were the one who taught them how their relationship with you should be based on indifference. The first step to change this situation is to stop complaining, to stop being indifferent to someone. Do something and start working. Care a little bit more first. I'm not here to lecture you about my great success story when I suddenly stopped being careless and indifferent and then became somehow successful. I won't lie to you, I'm still struggling. I'm still trying my best to balance being indifferent about things I should care about and the things I should throw away. And I still fail sometimes and then I cling to the ultimate goal which is that I must undoubtedly learn the art of indifference. I believe that the art of indifference is not to be indifferent to everything but only to choose what you care about. The art of indifference is not to be dumb and fool who doesn't care, rather you care about something, after which anything else becomes trivial. In the book The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F*** the writer mentions the story of his mother and how he couldn't simply not caring when she has been robbed and that what a normal person reaction should be. How can we not care? We must care. We must take a stand. Before reading the book, I thought that what it was talking about was how to empty your mind of overthinking, becoming lighter and lighter and lighter like a feather without worrying about anything anymore. As if you were a person born every day with no past, no future, and perhaps no present, no pain, no ouch or care. I was excited about this idea and it seemed really cool to think that, wow, finally, the secret to be even more careless. But after I read the book, I found that maybe it would actually be better if I care. Why was I so eager to become a mentally ill person who doesn't care? All this time, I had enjoyed the blessing of indifference, the blessing of choice, and the blessing of distinguishing between right and wrong. So why did I want to throw everything away and not care? The art of indifference is that thin line between being indifferent, foolish, not caring about anything, and being carefully, wonderfully indifferent, master choosing only what you care about. Many may misunderstand the meaning of being indifferent with their idea of it, so they ignore the feelings of others, ignore the facts, and ignore the future, religion, and laws. And this is not what it's about. This is not what we want, is it? What we want is to let go of what is out of our control, stop worrying and truly start living. Our goal is to know what we should select and focus our attention on so that nothing else seem valuable and worthy of our attention. It is about paying deep attention to what really matters while getting rid of all the unnecessary baggage. If you ask yourself what's really worth caring about, there is a long list and everyone can beg his, but in general, your family, your health, your body, your work, your future, your peace of mind, your mental and psychological health, your security, 
your personal growth, your time, your relationship with others, and the list go on. We all care about something even if we pretend that we don't care. If you don't care about saving, aren't worried about the future, it is probably because you care much about today and now. Your appetite, the comparison between you and others, the idea that you aren't less than anyone, and that you can also buy a bag from Louis Vuitton and shoes from Nike and accessories from BMW. Oh wait, this is not even an accessory brand, is it? Maybe I didn't know because I didn't pay much attention to it. I had something else I decided to pay more attention to. Forget about me. Let's talk about one of the famous personalities like Mark Zuckerberg, for example. Mark wears the same shirt to work and doesn't waste his time thinking about what people might think of him. Do you think he doesn't know about these brands? He doesn't know that many people stay for months and months and months in order to buy a pack from here and shoes from there. He knows for sure, but he doesn't care because he decided to care about something more important. And for the sake of that important thing, he lives a simple life because it becomes his main concern. Too much entertainment in any form hampers one's growth in real life. We sacrifice many wonderful things just to give in to useless temptations, while great people sacrifice these temptations for the sake of wonderful things. Yeah, indifference may not be a choice we knowingly accept. It just happens when one does not pay enough attention to the issue that needs attention. But remember, your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds, you can grow flowers, or you can grow weeds, says Osho. We have become more concerned with celebrities, popular photos and memes and useless scrolling and the marathon of buying the latest iPhone, the newest bathroom cleaner, the most luxurious jacket and the most luxurious small table to be placed on somewhere in the living room. To be responsible, you must avoid the temptations of distraction. You can't move forward unless you get rid of the extra baggage of these temptations that you carry in your shoulder. Indifference, without learning its art, may either bring loss or spoil any effort in achieving certain goals. In the crazy squirrel race we live today, on the wheel of life, indifference can make a big difference between success and failure. We just have to know what we care about, what we shouldn't care about, and this, in short, is the art of indifference. So are you still okay with being indifferent and careless about what you should care about?